Mina coquettishly said to the other end of the phone, Come pick me up, I want to go eat the grilled fish at the restaurant on Tongjiang Road. A relatively close female colleague asked if she could catch a ride too. Mina's face froze for a moment, but she quickly smiled again and said, Sure, I'll let him know. After that, she avoided her colleague and made a call, and when she got back to her desk, she apologetically said to that colleague, I'm so sorry, my boyfriend said he already has three other friends in his car, and they're also going in that direction. The colleague was a bit disappointed. Mina hurriedly said, Next time, next time I'll have him keep the seats empty and give you a ride home specifically. As soon as it was time to get off work, Mina rushed out quickly. Her colleague teased her for being in such a hurry, but she quickened her pace thinking, Don't be silly, if you see the car show up later, won't I be exposed? Yes, Mina's boyfriend didn't actually have other people getting a ride, she lied to her colleague, simply because she didn't want anyone to see her boyfriend's car. Because the one coming to pick her up this time was Old Zhang, not Sun Jianmen. Old Zhang was just a small shop owner, who could only afford a 100,000 renminbi rowi. He occasionally had to help with deliveries too, so his car was dirty and messy, clearly indicating not too much money. But to others, she had said her boyfriend was a wealthy man. Mina didn't have Old Zhang park at the company entrance, but stopped at the street corner instead. She raced into the car, sneakily telling him to hurry up and drive, in case her colleagues from the company saw them, it would be trouble. Old Zhang felt a bit wronged, am I that embarrassing to be seen with? Mina didn't give him any face at all, and rolled her eyes, look at yourself, presentable at all? Let's go, drive your car, don't think too much. The two went to the grilled fish restaurant, where Mina ate heartily. Afterwards, she had Old Zhang take her back. He hemmed and hawed, his eyes full of implication. Seeing Mina's impatient expression, he gritted his teeth, let's go, we'll go shopping at the mall. I saw a necklace the other day that looked good on you. Only then did Mina's face brighten up, smiling as she looped her arm in his and walked to the mall. She had her eye on one over 8,000 renminbi, but old Zhang insisted the 4,000 renminbi one looked better. Looking at his eager and doting expression, Mina was even more contemptuous inside, but since it did look decent on her hand, she let it go. Naturally they then went to a hotel, and when old Zhang wanted to go again, her phone rang. She looked at the caller ID, and her expression changed. She kicked old Zhang away and dignifiedly yet charmingly said, Brother Sunday. Sun Jianmen made plans with Mina to eat. She didn't hesitate at all and immediately agreed. Old Zhang was naturally vinegar-faced with jealousy, didn't you just eat? Can your stomach handle more? Aren't you afraid of getting fat? Mina spat at him while putting on stockings, you know nothing. It's high in Japanese food, average 3,000 renminbi per person. I'd be an idiot not to go. Old Zhang was scolded into submission. He still had to dutifully drive her to the restaurant. On the way, she put on makeup while grumbling, I want to buy a car. She glared at him resentfully, blaming him for having too crappy a car. She still didn't let Old Zhang stop at the restaurant entrance, but had him drop her off at the intersection. He watched her walk elegantly into the restaurant, her tiny waist really knew how to sway. Thinking about it, he felt a wave of heat. Unfortunately, this woman had high ambitions, looking down on him. Old Zhang sadly sighed. Mina had a bad temper and was a bit crude with Old Zhang, but with Sun Jianmen she was all rationality and grace. She grasped his feelings, neither fawning nor aloof, so when he put his hand over suggestively, Mina still went along. Last time, to show she wasn't cheap, she had rejected him. This time she couldn't reject again, or he might think she was playing hard to get, so she readily agreed. This hotel was much fancier than the one she had slept with Old Jing in. She also took a nice fragrant bath. As they shamelessly rolled around in bed, Mina felt a bit strange inside, after all this was the first time she had slept with two men in such a short period of time. She was on her safe period, so neither used protection. She thought randomly for a bit, but Sun Jianmen pinched her, and she hurriedly regained focus, putting on an Oscar-worthy performance in bed, to his great satisfaction. After sleeping, Sun Jianmen held her catching his breath, clearly in a good mood, tapping his fingers on her smooth back. Men were usually amenable at times like this. Mina tentatively said she was late for work again, and pouted, it's so inconvenient without a car. Sun Jianmen grandly waved his hand, no problem, I'll buy you one. Mina was overjoyed inside, but she quickly became rational. She had looked into Sun Jianmen's background, divorced, quite generous, and they had associated for a while. 
But he never took initiative to bring her into his social circle, just introduced her as girlfriend if they happened to run into friends. But this status was too superficial, she wasn't satisfied. So even with the huge economic disparity between them, she worked hard to behave with neither humility nor arrogance. Slowly, she could feel he respected her a bit more. But if she accepted this car, the balance she had painstakingly sought would be disrupted. So she rejected it with backbone, and righteously said, I want to earn it myself. Then I can take you for a drive. Sun Jianmin was very tickled, her independence appealed to him. He hugged her and suggestively said, All right, you've got guts, wait for me to give you a big reward. Mina soon found out what this big reward was. He had pulled a huge order for her company, one that would allow them to coast half a year. Her boss happily gave her a 120,000 renminbi bonus. Mina already knew Sun Jianmin was an executive at a corporation, but this was the first time she directly faced his capabilities, just moving his lips could bring her such great benefits. She felt fiery inside, and was even more determined to keep hold of him. She immediately went to the 4S dealership to look at cars. She had only planned to spend around 200,000 renminbi, but Sun Jianmin must know her boss had rewarded her 120,000 renminbi. She couldn't let her own money be less than that bonus, so she gritted her teeth and bought an Audi for around 300,000 renminbi. When buying the car, she had Old Jing help look it over. This guy had a vinegar face, but when she hinted for him to chip in too, he made difficulties, humph, stingy jerk. Seeing her displeased, he licked her boots again saying, I have a friend who does car modifications, I can change it to a color you like. Only then was Mina satisfied. After the car's paperwork was done, Old Zhang drove it away at a time she specified. She liked the gaudy orange color, and he helped her handle the registration and everything, then delivered it to her. She looked it over, the interior was also changed, and there were some figurines, including a very cute cat ornament. He fished for compliments from her, all these changes cost me over 10,000 renminbi. Old Zheng also insinuated the back seat cushions were especially soft, great for doing stimulating things. Mina rolled her eyes, as if it suits you, hurry up and scram, I'm busy. Old Zheng handed her the keys like a little wife. She didn't care at all that he had lost face chasing after her for years, no money or looks. Back then before catching Sun Jianmin, he had pestered her so persistently, she used him to cure boredom when she had nothing to do. As for anything else, she had told him long ago not to fantasize. Mina couldn't wait to make plans with Sun Jianmin, bro son, I bought a car, didn't we agree I would take you for a drive? They decided on the weekend. She was a beauty to start with, and had deliberately dressed up extra that day. Along with the gaudy orange color of the new car, Sun Jianmin chuckled, suggestively saying the color was a bit wild. How could Mina not see his eagerness? So they tacitly understood, and she drove the car out of the city. They picked a quiet spot and had a wild fling in the car. Sun Jianmin was extremely satisfied, performing a bit beyond normal. The last time they were in the back seat, her legs wrapped around him. After finishing she was sore and soft, could barely move her legs. Sun Jianmin was very smug, even laughing at her for being useless. Mina knew he was happy, and played along saying she was too tired to drive. Sun Jianmin gleefully got into the driver's seat, but once in the car, he still felt unfinished, constantly reaching over to get frisky. She enjoyed it but still said, pay attention, if anything happens I'm the one getting fined. Sun Jianmin was totally unconcerned, what's there to fear, we're out in the sticks, where would there be cameras? She gave him a charming reprimanding glance, further exciting him, so he didn't pay full attention to driving. Suddenly the car seemed to hit something, and Mina panicked a bit, looking out the window, I, I seem to hear something calling out. Sun Jianmin put away his previous debauchery, hands on the wheel, coldly saying, you misheard, we just hit the speed bumps. Hearing him say this she felt even more uncertain. Where would there be speed bumps out here? From the rearview mirror she seemed to see, a person. Her face went pale, did we, hit someone? Sun Jianmin said her eyes were blurry, it was so dark, with her nearsightedness how could she see clearly? But she still felt a bit panicked, the more she thought the more uncertain she felt. She tugged Sun Jianmin's sleeve asking him to back up and look. Sun Jianmin told her not to meddle, and in the tussle he was distracted for a moment and lost control, crashing into the guardrail. Mina screamed and fainted. When Mina woke up she was in the hospital, but what surprised her was the traffic police said she was suspected of a hit-and-run, seriously injuring someone, 
and they would investigate her for criminal and civil responsibility. So she really hadn't misheard or imagined it, Sun Jiamin really hit someone. She hurriedly said she wasn't driving, it was Sun Jiamin, and if anyone should bear responsibility, it should be him. But the traffic police said when they arrived at the scene, the person in the driver's seat was her. Mina's face instantly turned ghastly pale. She thought of many things, she was the car owner, she drove on the sections with cameras, it was only after the wild fling that Sun Jiamin drove, on a rural road he said had no cameras. After the accident he was still able to move, he carried her unconscious self from the passenger seat to the driver's seat, so everyone would think she was the hit and run driver escaping responsibility. He framed her. Mina grabbed the traffic police officer and desperately defended herself, it wasn't me who hit him, it was Sun Jianmin, he, he was the one driving. She suddenly thought of something. That's right, the dash cam. There's a recording. The traffic police regretfully said that for some reason, there was nothing in the recorder. Mina was dumbfounded. This must have been Sun Jianmin's doing. He was so crafty, knowing he hit someone, afraid to take responsibility, he coaxed her it was a mistake. He just didn't expect they would still get into an accident later. She remembered when they lost control, he jerked the steering wheel, causing her to crash into the guardrail, knocking her unconscious, which gave him a chance to pull the switch and delete the recording. He did it too perfectly, there were no loopholes to be found. Mina desperately called Sun Jianmin, trying to trick him while recording, but he evaded it all, and hypocritically said, Mina, don't worry, I will help argue for the victim's forgiveness, hopefully you won't get too long a sentence. As for compensation money, I can help out, just say how much you need. His words hinted that money could buy her silence. She hated him to death, and threatened to expose their affair. Sun Jiamin calmly asked what she wanted to expose. She was speechless. He was divorced, she was single, even if they had a fling, it could only be said to be adventurous, not even a moral crime. As for giving her company orders, it was done through proper channels, he didn't take a cent in kickbacks, he was clean. Mina felt very hopeless. She didn't expect the wealthy son-in-law she had set her sights on would frame her like this. When Old Jing entered the hospital room, he saw Mina banging her head against the wall. He held her distressedly, what are you doing? She cried, I might go to jail, and have to pay a lot of money. I've been duped miserably, Wu Wu. Old Jing had a strange expression. Seeing her cry so brokenly, he blurted out, there are still ways. After saying so, he realized something and hemmed and hawed to change the topic. But Mina also reacted, grabbing him urgently, what do you mean? What ways? Old Zheng's eyes shifted sneakily. Mina cried again, what can I do? I'm still so young but will carry this disgrace, woo woo, I'm wrongly accused to death. As she cried, she peeked at Old Zheng's expression. She knew he resented her for driving the new car and messing around with another man, not cherishing him enough. So she steeled herself, grabbed his hand, and eagerly said with red eyes, as long as you can help me, I'll marry you. Old Zheng was stunned speechless. He was very clear on how much Mina looked down on him. How high were her ambitions? So even when she was with Sun Jianmin, he didn't even dare be jealous properly. What was that guy's status, and what was Old Zheng's? Now she was actually willing to marry him, this huge windfall made him a bit dizzy. Old Zheng was happy but also worried, do you mean it? You'll accept me? Mina heaved a long sigh, to be honest, not very much. But you've seen, the man I looked up to had such a black heart. I understand now, rich men can't be relied on. When you're doing well he treasures you, but when something happens, you become the scapegoat. I was so seriously injured, been in the hospital so many days, yet he didn't visit me once or even make a call. But you, you came to see me every day. I also heard you were finding lawyers, thinking of ways to help me outside? A woman doesn't know to look for a man who truly cares until she suffers hardship. Not when things are going well and she just wants money. She looked at Old Zheng with fiery eyes. He was fired up by her gaze and hugged her tightly, don't worry, I won't let my wife go to jail. Old Zheng told her that when modifying the car exterior, he had bragged to his friend that Mina was his girlfriend. His friend said she was so pretty, what if she cheated, and goaded him to secretly install a camera in the car to observe her. He had listened and hidden the camera in that cat ornament. Mina was speechless with resentment inside. She had thought that ornament was so cute, but it turned out it was used to monitor her. But this thing was now her lifeline. She forced a smile and expressed great satisfaction at this fluke. Mina waited confidently for her turnaround. 
She had set her expectations sky high, and even thought secretly that since Sun Jiamin had framed her so badly, she would definitely counter sue him. With his wealth, she wouldn't stop without taking a huge bite. But unexpectedly, Old Zhang brought back news that utterly disappointed her. He said during the accident, that ornament had flown out. There was a river below, and he had dredged for two days but found nothing. It was likely washed away. From heaven straight to hell, such was her fate. Mina immediately fainted again. When she woke up she grabbed old Zhang and cursed, venting all her disappointment and fear on him. And marrying him? Get lost. How could she marry such a useless man? She spewed many ruthless words. Old Zhang tucked her blanket for her, then left. Seeing his departing figure, she did feel for a moment she had gone too far. But she was used to him being her lapdog, she could do anything to him with no consequences. So she forcibly swallowed her apology, and from then on, Old Jing never visited her again. After Mina recovered, the case was also going to trial. The victim was an old person, and the family refused to provide a settlement letter. The lawyer said it was very likely she'd get three years. She was already numb, three years then three years, such was her crap luck. But just when she had prepared for the worst, there was a huge reversal. That day at the intersection where the accident happened, a car was parked. The owner had gotten out briefly but left the dash cam running. After finishing his business he left, unaware an accident occurred. Later when that driver got into another traffic incident and pulled up the recording, he unintentionally captured that accident. It clearly showed a man in the driver's seat at the time. Mina's charges were dropped. Sun Jianmin became the defendant. Not only did he flee the scene of an accident, but he was suspected of framing others. His sentence would surely be heavier than hers. His corporation also released a dismissal notice. Mina laughed out loudly. Heaven's net has large holes, but it misses nothing. But it wasn't over yet. Sun Jianmin countersued Old Zhang for extortion. It turned out Old Zhang did find that ornament, and successfully extracted the footage inside. He watched it from start to finish, and heard Mina's conversation with her bestie about her two men. The bestie thought Old Zhang must be great in bed for Mina to sleep with him. But Mina just laughed loudly, as if, he's just a little better than cornstarch. Then why bother with him? I just like how he tries so hard to please me in bed, quite satisfying mentally. Her attitude with Sun Jiamin was an act, too tiring to keep up. She needed an outlet too. Old Zhang's pathetic attempt to pretend to be amazing in bed despite his actual clumsiness greatly pleased her. After seeing this, Old Zhang was spurred by love into hatred. So he immediately took that footage to Sun Jianmen, and used 800,000 to delete that footage which would ruin Old Zhang's reputation. No matter how much a man debases himself for a woman, what he cannot stand is to be mocked for sucking in bed. That relates to a man's final dignity. So he chose to give up Mina. Why not, money is good too. When Mina found out, she had very mixed emotions. Her profit-seeking attitude in love was met with Sun Jiamin's ruthless framing. And her disdain was reciprocated by Old Zhang's betrayal. If not for heavenly justice, she really would have gone to jail. Perhaps she should seriously reflect on herself, and pursue love more sincerely.